Let's talk a little bit more about the crack key fill once and forget method of hydroponics. Previously, I had taken a tomato clone uh, that had rooted off of a branch of a microdorf tomato and grew it in this 14 gallon drum. Over 111 days, I got a couple of harvests of a few dozen golden harvest tomatoes and that was a cherry variety and I wanted to compare that. I, I thought to myself, you know, oftentimes when people prepare plants for spring plantings, they have either smaller plants or more established plants that they want to put out into a, a hydroponic system such as a fill once and forget method of hydroponics. And so the plant behind me is from the same mother plant and I grew that in a small uh, circulating system and I grew it until it had a set of green tomatoes on that. So it was a little bit larger when I set it into this particular 14 gallon drum. And what I found was that the plant uh, fully ripened those tomatoes in about 14 days. And then the plant went into what is called a vegetative stage and it increased in size. It is currently about 22 inches across the top and the prior plant uh, over that 111 days used about uh, around 12 gallons of nutrient before the salinity in the bottom of the container with a half grow uh, nutrient solution uh, terminated the grow. But uh, this particular plant, uh, since it was a little bit larger, uh, when I set this into the drum, has not used that amount of nutrients yet. As a matter of fact, if I lift the lid, You can see that, uh, let me try to get some of the drops of water off. There we go. You can see that the uh, roots on this, beautiful white roots um, have not grown to the bottom of the container yet. As a matter of fact, on the drum, I can kind of indicate about where they're at. They're about, uh, about here. So uh, they've only used up about uh, in the neighborhood of three to four gallons of nutrient. And so it has a bit more to grow before it uh, actually terminates its growth and reaches down to the bottom with the uh, fill once method. Now you'll notice on the top of the plant that there are flower blooms. Let me try to get that a little bit closer. So yeah, there, there's the flower blooms. I'm starting to see more of those, but uh, right before those came on, I had some that were underneath the plant and there are gobs of green tomatoes that are underneath the canopy of the plant. So it is getting ready to ripen those off and I should have a harvest of probably around uh, 20 to 30 uh, nice sized golden harvest cherry tomatoes. Uh, one other thing to notice is that if you look on the net pot, you'll notice that the roots don't tend to come out the sides of the net cup as much as they come out the bottom of the net cup. And that is because with the nutrients started here on the lower part, the roots tend to seek the nutrient because the newest part of the roots are actually what is considered the feeder roots. They pull up the water and the plant food. Whereas the upper roots that you see here start to convert into what are called gas exchange roots. And that helps the plant with its uh, cycle of uh, photosynthesis and the uh, uptake of sugars and uh, other byproducts you know that the plants pull from the nutrients. So this particular plant, let me go ahead and set that back into here, should 
continue to do well under the 50 watt LED grow light that I'm using from Vivo Sun. It's actually a 100 watt light, but I have turned it down to 50 watts and put it at about 12 inches above the plant. So this uh, particular plant should go ahead and ripen this set of tomatoes. And I expect that I may be able to get another heavy uh, set of tomatoes off of it. And what's the difference between this one and the other one? This one, I should get a little bit larger harvest, a little bit larger plant, uh, starting from the uh, large plant that uh, was put into it. So what does that mean for you and your particular gardening? I would say that uh, if you would probably set a plant out, you know, that you've been growing indoors from a smaller container into a larger container, expect to see that it uh, flips from its uh, vegetative, I'm sorry, from its fruiting uh, stage into a vegetative stage when it goes outdoors into a container such as this, because most plants will want to colonize the uh, larger container before they start to set their fruit again with container plants and expect to have a bigger plant and a much heavier harvest by using an older plant. Now, can you do that uh, from a smaller cutting? Sure. Uh, however, you will probably find that if you have a short grow season, it's more advantageous to start with the larger plant because the smaller cuttings can take a few weeks extra. And if you happen to be in a short summer where you have an early fall uh, frost, it will probably terminate the growth and you may not have the opportunity to see uh, fruiting on your particular plants particularly if you have a long season plant, such as a hot pepper, the super hot peppers will tend to mature in about 150 to 230 days on average. And the tomatoes on the other hand, with this particular uh, plant, this has a much faster maturity time and you could probably get most of your uh, 50 to 60 day tomato plants to mature by that time. Keep in mind that when you see a maturity date on a tomato plant, it does not take into account that you need to have an eight to 12 week uh, seed to uh, seedling that you put into your outdoor environment to get that 50 to 60 day harvest time. Another thing that you might find is that out in some areas like uh, the northern United States where the summers may not be as warm, uh, that will slow down the maturity of the plant. Or if you're in a, a far south environment where the uh, plant is stressed out from heat or dry conditions, that could impact the maturity as well because extreme heat is outside the range of optimal photosynthesis and that can uh, stress out the plant just like you know having a little bit uh, too cold of an environment can also stress out the plant. So that's a lot of information uh, to unload at one time but if you have any questions, feel free to uh, put those down below in this video and I'll try to answer the questions. I want to share a few more tidbits of information with you over the next few weeks.